for some reason or the other you want to change the country of your Apple ID. So I'm going to teach you how to do just that. Now the first thing you want to do is of course open up your iPad. Now you can see my iPad is on the screen. You want to open up the App Store. Alright so the App Store is open. Then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see Apple ID. You'll see it Apple ID, Redeem and Send Gift. Those three options. You want to press Apple ID. View Apple ID. Alright. Just going to press that. Now it should come up and um, it's going to ask you to enter your password. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the password and uh, I'll be back just now. Okay, so I'm back. I've entered the password. Now, once you see this heading that says account settings, you want to look down until you see country slash region, and you're going to press on that. All right, so you're going to press on that. Wait for that to open. And uh, while we're waiting for that to open, it's worth mentioning if you have a credit balance. So let's say you bought a gift card and you have like two dollars left or something, then you can't change your country until you've spent all the money on your Apple ID. So it's just a quick note. So if you look at this one, there's no money on this account, so therefore I can change the country. So now you'll see that it says change country or region. I'm going to press on that. Alright, so I am going to change to the United States now. The good thing about changing to the United States is that there are many um, websites where you can get free iTunes gift cards and free Amazon gift cards, but uh, when you get iTunes gift cards, they only give it to United States app stores. So, therefore, it is worth switching to the United States app stores if you are planning on getting US gift cards from a website. Alright, so now that we've done that, I'm going to press Next. Okay, now you'll see the Terms and Conditions and Apple Privacy Policy. Now, nobody ever reads these, so I'm just going to scroll down and press Agree. Alright? And it says, I have read and agreed to the iTunes Store terms and conditions. I'm going to press Agree. Alright? Okay, so now you'll see billing information. Now, I do not have a card to add to this. So I, that's why I have selected None. Alright? Now I'm going to scroll down. And there's a lot of personal information here, so I'm just going to scroll down. Alright. Okay, so you can see, it asks for an address. Now, the first thing you need to know is that it's asking for a road name. You can add any road number you want to. It's not going to check. Next, the city. I put clear water. Now, all of this information is public, so even if you tried copying it or something, it's okay because the information is not um, uh, private it's common information so the address I have selected an address there it's a completely fake address it does not exist and the city I put clear water that's a city in under the state I'm going to put FL for Florida and the zip code which is a specific code for a specific area now when it comes to zip codes what you're going to have to do is look up the zip code for Florida now that's the tricky part if you do not have the correct zip code, it's not going to accept you. So all you have to do is just go on Google, type in zip code for Florida, and it will come up. Alright? That's the zip code for Florida. Then for phone number, it will not accept you if your phone number is not, um, it, if the first three numbers are not assigned to that area. So for Florida, the phone, the, the prefix for phoning is 812. As long as you have that 812, the rest of the numbers can be complete nonsense and the Apple Store will accept it. So, what you need to do is have seven numbers after the prefix. And once you've got seven numbers after the prefix, it's pretty much accepted. Now, you can press Next. Alright. And now you can see your Apple ID is now ready to use with the iTunes Store. So, I can press Start Shopping. And um, as you can see, I am on the US App Store. Now you know which App Store you are on by going to a paid app. You can see this app called Nintype. I think that's how you say it. You can see it says $4.99. So that's how I know I am currently using the US App Store. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. And let me know if you have any problems in the comments below. <laughs>